All right, everyone, welcome back. A quick update on Caspa here. You know, it still remains to be seen uh, if we are going to get some deeper retracement levels here, some cheaper prices on Caspa. Uh, I'm still holding out hope that that could be the case. But as of right now, we had that spike to the upside here with that candle here. Ultimately, we're getting stuck right at the bottom of our box that we drew um, last update or a couple of updates ago. Uh, so until we get over 517, uh, we're still getting stuck at this high here, even though we did break the high. So that is a good positive step in the right direction uh, for Caspa being bullish here and breaking that bearish market structure. So it remains to be seen right now. I would just simply watch the 517 area. If we can get over that, uh, we're currently at 51. Then, of course, your next stop is the high at 54. And then once we break that, we will go for a new high, depending on where that is going to be. So from where you are right now, if Caspa can break through that 517, move up about 6%, get over 54. Then we have a couple of stops to watch here. We have 57 for a 12, 13% move. Then that six penny mark for an 18% move. And then the next line up here for about a 26, 27% move on Caspa is about six and a half here. So a couple of prices to watch for potential new tops here if we are going to be bullish, which it's trying to be, even though it spiked up and quickly sold off. That's not a good look. So it, we, we still could be bearish here. So just watch those prices to the upside on Caspa. And overall, from the low to the high here, as long as Caspa stays over this 4.8 mark here, uh, it's still extremely bullish in my opinion. So you could potentially drop down here and hold support for about 5% to 4.8 and still be considered extremely bullish for a bounce and a push higher on Caspa here. Uh, but other than that, if you take out 4.8, you can see the next stop would be that 4.5 at that 3.82 here, which could be, uh, could be potentially in play. You can see that's about a 10, 11% drop. Uh, one more thing before we end this here, that if we were to draw, if we are going to get stuck at that box here and we're just going to get stuck well, off of that wick, you can see, if you can see that the 618 here off of this little micro low to the high takes you right to that 382 here. So let me go ahead and get that off of the screen at that 4-5 area. So Caspa could potentially come down to that 382 here and then we go back up. So that is a potential, but... Like I said, at all times, as long as you stay over 4.8 here, you're extremely bullish for a push higher at some point. And just keep an eye on those prices on Caspa. We'll cover it again tomorrow. And we'll leave it at that for now on Caspa. Good luck, everyone. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.